attacks on Border Patrol agents along the river are causing the agency to rethink the way they patrol. Border Patrol says 23 of their Rio Grande Valley sector agents were assaulted with rocks over the last 30 days. The rockings happened by the Rio Grande River. Our Channel 5's Ruben Juarez joins us live in the studio. Ruben. Hey, let the border agents count on their boats to patrol up and down the Rio Grande River. They say the vessels are a great tool but can leave them susceptible to attacks. Attacks on Border Patrol agents on boats are on the rise along the McAllen sector of the Rio Grande, forcing agents to take extra precaution. They actually have to do maneuvers in order to get out of that area. And on occasion, uh, also use uh, some form of less lethal munitions in order to protect themselves and each other. Over the past 30 days, 23 agents were attacked with rocks by people on the Mexican side of the river. In one case, a rock destroyed the windshield on a Border Patrol boat. If you can imagine a baseball-sized rock being thrown at you, it isn't as if the people throwing the rocks are trying to hit the boat. They're throwing the rocks, and it's just fortunate that an agent hasn't been injured. The McAllen sector of the river where the attacks are occurring stretches from the Hidalgo Port of Entry to the Hidalgo County Line, out west by Star County. Many of these incidents are occurring south of Abram and north of Peñitas. Lucio adds that the number of people being smuggled in this area has dropped dramatically over the past six weeks. They credit increased enforcement by agents watching this area. And because we're there with such a presence and we're a lot more effective in how we're deploying, they're frustrated. They can't do what it, what it is that is their business. Uh, you know, they want to be able to move people and they can't do it as freely as possible. Lucio says the frequency of attacks over the span of a month have not been recorded to this level in years. Lucio adds that Border Patrol is reaching out to authorities in Mexico to help track down the people who are attacking the agents. So far, there have been no arrests. We will keep you posted on any new developments that may arise. Reporting in the studio, Ruben Juarez, Channel 5 News at 6.